I'm using a spot putty. Um, you can see it's made by 3M, and that's this red stuff right here. I'm using it to fill in the holes or the low spots. You can see I'm kind of cheating right there. It looks like a mess right now, and you can see the colors that I've done. I've done um, blue, and then I did purple. This is the purple right here that I did. And I've done some on the other side here. These were the scratches. Let me see if I can get this in the sun. Lighting, lighting is very important to a painter too. But just to give you, give you an example, remember that a coating of paint is material or matter. If you take matter off, you're going to have a low spot. And if you have a low spot, it's going to show. So what we want to do is take your hands, like I showed you, use your palms right here. Boy, those are both <laughs> kind of rosy, aren't they? <laughs> Oops. And uh, you want to use your knuckles and your fingertips right here. And you want to go back and forth slowly. Use your whole hand. And see if you can feel anything, any kind of disruption, any kind of um, um, bump, depression, anything. And when you're close to where you can't feel anything or you're happy with that, then you know the panel's ready to paint or going on to the next phase of using primer filler. Now I wanted to show you the difference between primer filler and primer sealer, which I don't, which I have. This is called high build, right here. Now, I'm not gonna show you all the work that I do on getting this ready, because uh, I'm just kinda wasting, well, I'm not really wasting time, but I wanna do this slow so that people can go over the video over and over it and look at it. If you know what you're doing or you get bored, just skip to the end, you know, it's cool. You can see up here, I had a rock chip that's that's uh, blue, and then the silver base, and then the purple, and then the silver base, and then it goes down to bullet gray. And the way you take these out is you sand them out so it's a, just a smooth depression. And if you do that long enough and wide enough, the, the depression is so long and narrow you'll never notice it or feel it. But I have to get out all of the little... Uh, there's pieces, of, I mean, I have poor adhesion right here mainly. It's because of the, um, the key in here that goes in here. And it, it, it bangs against things. I'm not going to take out these little cracks. I'm, by the time I do all this, I won't be able to ride this until next winter. But you can see I have cracks up here. And that's due to the fact that I have 18 coats of paint on here. Which really doesn't matter for a little, little bike like this. This was cracked right along here. And if you look in the back, you can see where... I've, you can see where I've used Bondo, and I put, not Bondo, but um, I've used JB Weld, and I put the panels together, but vibration will make them crack, it's just one of the things. And you can see where the water has come down with the, the pl plastic, the plastic, uh, spot putty and I'll slowly go over everything to get it fairly smooth and then I'll go over the edges and you have to remember that on a few things you don't have to really worry about because the panel is going to be so shiny that a little problems you won't notice them because everyone will be looking at the shiny spots this panel right here I have to do a little bit more work on these edges, get them smoother, here, here, and right there. Then I have a crack right here, which I don't know if I'm going to take out. Uh, you, remember, you can't, you can't fill cracks. If it's, if it's a crack, it's due to vibration. So you just paint over it and it'll crack out again. If you have a line or something in the paint where it's come apart at the seams, paint will not hide it. All paint does is sink into the surface and it mimics whatever the surface looks like. So if the surface is totally smooth, it will be totally sm smooth. If it's not, it won't. You can see right here where the primer, 
or the um, you can see the little rips right here where it's dried over the years and it's sunk when I had it just perfect but painting is a it's a to me I, I just love to paint that's I'm a painter that's why I'll probably end up doing watercolor painting in some nursing home while they're feeding me with a turkey baster and putting a wig on me heaven forbid but that's probably the way it'll end up and as soon as I get everything where I want it here then we'll start using the primer filler all this is is glue with a bunch of talcum powder in it that's all it is we have a primer filler and we have a primer sealer they're two different things they do two different things and I'll go over that I know this is boring but unless you understand how uh, the painting works if you're out there doing working on your DO or whatever it is then you can't understand what everything does to make it work correctly it's very easy to put on paint and sealer and have everything perfect if the job is perfect but if you have problems or it's, or it's fucked up then you need to know how to fix it if you can't do it then that's where the problems come in and believe me I want to paint this as much as anybody one gentleman pointed out look when are you gonna paint the damn thing and I I understand yes I um, I'll paint it when it's ready I mean that's just that's all I can say I cannot do the job half-ass especially when I'm gonna put on these imported stickers and decals I want everything to look not hundred percent perfect but maybe ninety percent and we continue <laughs> 